The Liverpool Warriors certainly know how to celebrate winning their first state championship in program history on Saturday afternoon. Good evening. I'm Matt Hawsworth, now joined alongside Liverpool seniors Jacob Sisto, Jeff DiStefano, Nick Antonello, and Jake Evans. I can't believe I got all four of those uh, in one reading here. Okay, guys, so first and foremost, Jacob, we'll start with you. We saw that celebration. That was amazing. Tell me what that felt like to throw the glove off and everyone jumps around on the mound. Uh, you know, it, it feels great. Uh, and just, just represent the community, uh, you know, going through your head, you know, you're thinking of everybody who was able to be able to get you here. Uh, and then you're thinking of your teammates as you're all in the dog paddle together. Uh, it's something special. It's, uh, it's definitely a feeling you'll remember for forever. Yeah, and uh, of course, it being the first time uh, that Liverpool has won a baseball state championship, I believe you saying that it was the second time in the last 10 years that a Section 3 baseball team has won it all. And on top of that, doing it at the highest classification. Uh, Jeff, we'll ask you next. Uh, you know, tell me what this ride was like. I, I mean, when you go this far, uh, you know, obviously you, you collect a lot of memories and you got the hard way to prove it now. Yeah, you know, we started in February, um, without, not even with our coaches, uh, you know, where we started to practice on our high school field, you know, pushing snow off of the side of the turf. Um, <laughs> you know, it's been crazy. Yeah. Probably the most memorable, memorable season for me. This is my, my third year on the team personally, and, you know, it's gotten better every year. All right, Nick, we'll uh, ask you the next question here. You were on the mound when you made that final strikeout. Yeah. Tell me, uh, you were just trying not to get ambushed, right? <laughs> yeah, I was trying not to get crushed by my whole team. So. <laughs> it was crazy. And just uh, the feeling of winning a state championship, what, what was that like? It was honestly amazing just for, like, this group of guys and then especially for our coach. Mm -hmm. It was just giving him his first ever appearance in a Final Four and yeah. then winning the whole thing for him. So Great. That's really cool. Yeah, and Jake, uh, last but not least, we'll, we'll ask you, you're headed off to Binghamton playing Division One baseball next year, I guess. Uh, tell me, uh, you know, what this ride is like and to be able to represent Liverpool on such a high stage and bring home the national, cha uh, national or, excuse me, state championship, <laughs> not national championship. <laughs> for us guys, was, I mean, it was a grind the whole time. These guys, we've been working together since back in Little League uh, with SRN and Liverpool and uh, Salt City. So, I mean, to be here with it, group of great guys, 19 uh, uh, other guys that we're working with, and I mean, it's just been, like I said, it's absolute grind, and we were able to take it home this year. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. State champions, class AA, the biggest classification in all of New York State, so we certainly appreciate it, guys. Matt, you got to be proud. Liverpool graduate. Yeah. Liverpool guy, and you know, I <laughs> used to play some baseball when I was at Liverpool, and I know the guys in our teams never got as far as you did, and they, yeah. were, they were some pretty good guys, too. Well, so guys. congratulations, <laughs> congratulations to Coach Terzini, too, for mm -hmm. the job well done, and uh, boy, these guys haven't, they haven't <laughs> taken off these new t-shirts no, and medals. No, look at the medals, they're beautiful. Now. And Shout Molly Matai. Shout to their moms and dads, too, for raising such yes. great guys. And it is a big commitment to get that <laughs> far. That'll do it for us tonight at 6. I'm Megan Coleman. I'm Matt Mulcahy. We'll see you again tonight for the CW6 News at 10 and NBC3 News at 11. Have a good night. See you later on.